Hey there, welcome back to the Xerox Use Cases video series. I'm Ken, and today we are talking about sharing uh, privately with Docker and Xerox. Let's jump right in. So you can see that I don't have any container applications running right now in my Docker desktop. And if you've installed Docker desktop on Mac OS or Windows, then you're all good on prerequisites. Um, but you can also get this going without installing Docker Desktop. That's just there because it looks nice. And if we take a look at our docs, starting with Xerox.io is the website. And if we pop into docs and go down to sharing with Docker, and we're going to be looking today at a private share. There's a separate video about sharing publicly with Docker and yet another video about sharing publicly and privately without Docker. But so this is private share with Docker. And uh, you can see right here that you're just gonna need to have Docker and the Compose plugin installed. And those are, those are installed for you if you do desktop on Mac OS or Windows. All right, so we're gonna need a project folder. I've already created mine. I named it Xerox Private Share right there. And we need to download this file. This is a Docker Compose project file. It looks like this, and it's just stored configuration for the containers that we're gonna be running along with Xerox. So make sure that the file that you download from this link is named docker-compose because that's the file name that Docker Compose expects. Now, we're gonna to need to create a file in our empty project directory where we've downloaded the Docker Compose file. And you can see in on my computer over here, I've already got mine created. This .env file is what you're gonna need. And it needs to look like this. Uh, Xerox enable token equals your secret token. So you can get that token by logging into the Xerox website and scrolling down to the bottom of your dashboard, click the eyeball to reveal your token right there and put it on your clipboard. And you can use that to paste it into your ENV file. All right, so now that we've got the ENV file set up, we can actually go ahead and run the project. Docker compose up is the command. All right, so I've got that command on my clipboard and pasted it into my terminal. And we can just run that. And might as well keep an eye on our Xerox dashboard here so we can see the new environment being created. All right, so now we have our Xerox environment enabled and we have a private share. And the address of the private share is from the perspective of, well, the, yeah, the, the address here is HTTP Xerox test. So that's valid for inside the container project. Um, but we can now set up a private access. And to do that, we're gonna need to go to the next step in the instructions, which tells us to start another project folder, download the composed project file for the access, which makes, sense because you would normally do this on two different computers. Maybe they're both uh, two devices that you manage, or maybe one of them belongs to somebody else. As long as they have a Xerox environment token from the same Xerox instance as you, then you can share stuff back and forth. So I'm just going to use another terminal window to simulate having another device, um, but the two Docker networks are totally separate, so they'll only be talking to each other over Xerox. So in this other environment, just like the share project, I've got two files. I've downloaded the Docker Compose file and I've got my .env file. And so in my .env file, just like the last one, I'm gonna to need to have my environment enable token, just like this, which I've done. And I'm gonna to need to have a second line in my file with the, the Xerox access token from the private act, from the private share. So this is the value right here that I need to put into that file. All right, I just saved, I just edited and saved my .env file with that private access token. So let's go to the next step. Run your compose project. All right, I'm ready to do that. I put the command on my clipboard and paste that into the terminal. Xerox private access. So just like the last one, that's going to create an environment. It's going to show up on the same dashboard because I use the same enable token. There we go. There's the new environment. All 
Yeah, and it looks like the it's running the private access now. There it is. So you can kind of see the address. I know we're getting this output cleaned up a little bit, but the next step right here in the instructions is just to visit this address, which is a local address. There we see the test endpoint and we saw the request come in on the share side. That's the server side. Cool. So you might want to take this a step further and exercise a bit more control over the, the server app. And that's what this section right here is about, going further with private access. So let's modify the, the share over here to use a, a, the other demo server that's provided in the Compose project. So I'll go up to my share terminal and I'm gonna open that Docker Compose file. And we can see right here on this line where the Xerox private share service is defined that we are running Xerox test. That's the address that we're sharing. And that corresponds to this other container inside the same project. Now that one listens on port 9090, just like we're sharing. And we're gonna switch that over to this container on a different port. So I'll just modify this. There we go. That looks good. So I'll just save and close that and we'll rerun our share. Now it's going to reuse the environment that we already enabled. See, it even says it right there. And now we have a new private access token. So I'll put that on my clipboard and I'll modify my private access env file like I did last time. All right, I've edited and saved my env file for the private access. So now I'll run this again. Xerox private access. It's going to reuse the same environment that was already enabled. See, it's not creating a new one in here. We have the first environment for the share where that's dangling off. And then we have the new environment here for our access. And now that that's up and running, I can just hit refresh in my web browser. And now we see the other app that we're sharing. So except this time we are we can we can uh, do one we can go one step further and instead of accessing it through a web browser we can access it from another container inside the on the access side so it's like client and server where pane number three down here would be our client and pane number two is our server so i'm going to hit Control c cancel on that access project and this time i'm going to well, let's see from the instructions, what exactly is the command? I need to run docker compose up demo client. So that's gonna run another container inside this project. Let's take a quick look at the project. Down at the bottom, we see we have a demo dash client container and it just runs busybox while true do echo then wget. So it's just trying to fetch this IP endpoint on the HTTP bin server. That's all that's gonna do. So I'll paste my command, we'll run that. And as you can see from the Xerox dashboard, we don't have any new environments. It's using the same access environment over here and the same share environment over here. And we're just constantly talking to that HTTP, HTTP bin server <laughs> over Xerox. And we see the request coming in right here. Cool. So there's a few different ways that you can use this and I hope you have fun with it. Pop into the forum if you have any questions. We'll look forward to working with you.